Hey everybody, uh, I'm out at the field today with my NTM prop drive uh, 2700 kV motor equipped uh, AMSI MiG-35 and I've been playing around having uh, having some serious speed fun here with a uh, four cell battery. So I managed to squeeze a uh, 115 miles an hour top speed out of it clocked on my HK uh, data logger. Uh, so she's a speedy, a speedy little beast. So I'm just going to uh, uh, do uh, several passes here just so you can kind of see how fast it is. It won't be a very long flight. My battery's uh, getting a little tired today. So I'm going to try and keep it sort of, you know, not out there where the trees are, but above the tree line so you can get a perspective of how fast it is. Uh, normally when I fly fast, I like to try and keep it low and and uh, close to me, um, but you're not going to be able to see that. You know, this camo kind of blends in a little easy. Anyway, enough of my yapping here. Let's uh, let's see how fast we can get this baby going. Ooh, it's not even half throttle, and I'm scared already. <laughs> Too fun. All right. The nice thing about this plane is that it's uh, it is just so rock solid, stable at speed. There, you know, like you see, I'm up around you know 100 miles an hour plus uh, on four cell with this thing at top speed, and no, you know, no speed wobble, no flutter, no torque roll. Uh, you know, it just it just buries the nose and. Uh, and goes fast. Um, I mean, even on the lighter motor setups, you know, I can I can get really really good speed on this. So depending on what you're looking for, I mean, this is probably uh, obviously at the uh, at the top end of the speed spectrum. You might not want to go this fast, or or have a field where you can fly this fast because it. Certainly, you know, I'm barely holding the throttle down for uh, full for any more than two seconds and it covers real estate pretty quickly. This runway is about 650 feet long and uh, oh yeah, you can hear the battery is starting to get a little tired there. Uh, this runway is about 650 feet long and it certainly doesn't take it very long to cover that amount of real estate. See if this battery's got one or two more good runs in her. <laughs> so I'm running a 60 amp Turnigy Plus 60 amp speed controller that's capable of handling bursts of uh, up to 80 amps. Uh, this this motor I've tested uh, on with a 6x4 EPC prop, which is what I'm running today. It uh, it'll be pulling in uh, the neighborhood of 72 to 75 amps uh, at full throttle. Oh, there we go. Fear and common sense has to hold me back and the battery's getting really tired. Nice. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's some pretty serious breakneck speed there out of the uh, NAMSI North American MIG Consortium MIG-35 with the NTM prop drive. I'm at uh, 24 ounces with this uh, setup. And uh, the motor kicks out about 54 ounces of thrust on a four cell, so it's pretty ridiculous. Obviously, it's not scale. Not too many fighter jets around I know that have a better than two to one thrust away ratio, but uh, but uh, it's a heck of a lot of fun. So I just wanted to show you. I think I've shown this in the in the three cell video. Oh, I don't know. If you can see there's bald eagle there having a look at me. Um, anyway, so we've got the standard wing plate or wing configuration that we recommend on the plans. This is a four millimeter uh, carbon tube, a uh, carbon rod, sorry, that runs down the center here, 15 inch long as the main wing spar, and then two 12 inch pieces of, th of three millimeter carbon tube. Um, this wing is super solid. I've, you know, I've yanked and banked and thrashed the living daylights out of this um, at this weight at, at top speed, even on four cell, and haven't seen any wing flex. Uh, 
that worries me. So I, I for the four cell for the uh, NTM prop drive configuration, I added in these. This, this is a three millimeter carbon tube in the uh, back plate here, and the uh, the two elevons, and then you might not be able to see it because of the paint, but also in the uh, in the vertical stabilizer. So that added, you know, by the time the glue and everything else was all in about 10 grams, but it definitely puts strength where I think I need it because I don't see any flex or wobble. Uh, you know, the, it just buries the nose and, and just seriously goes fast. So anyway, folks, uh, check out our website, migsorus.com. I'll have some links down below this video. You can go check out um, uh, the MIG-35 and other uh, projects we're working on at NAMSI right now. Uh, as well as all kinds of other great educational stuff uh, that we hope will help folks out. Uh, and also the, our uh, thread on the uh, RC Powers Forum. So there we have the, uh, the pretty darn speedy NAMSI MiG-35 NTM Prop Drive 2700 4-cell. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.